This video is going to look at how you can go in and color correct an image using Photoshop. I've started with this owl image, which is actually the image I've given you to color correct as well. And you can see right away there are a couple of things wrong with it. It was not originally a digital image. It was a slide that was scanned. You can see this great big black border around it that we need to get rid of. It's a little bit crooked. It's not completely straight. And of course, there is a green color cast on it. An owl should be brown and white. And here we can see right away that there's a lot of green in this image that just doesn't belong. Uh, we'll start off with cropping the image, but first I'm going to change the workspace from Essentials, which is the default workspace, to Photography, because we're dealing with a photographic image. Now, the big difference, it just opens a different set of images, and here you can see I still have my Layers palette open. The Layers palette is something you should always have open. I'm going to uh, reset the workspace just to make sure it's the basic one. Yes, and there were a number of palettes readjusted here that, that aren't with the default. So I'm going to go through and do this. They always open libraries, and libraries isn't something we need to use. But you can see here we have layers, we have the histogram, we have an adjustment palette here, which makes it a little bit easier to add a basic adjustments layer. And one other thing I'm going to open, and I'm going to do it by going under Window, History, is the History Palette. Now this is something I recommend you have open, especially when you're learning Photoshop. It will allow you to have multiple undos. I'm just going to make it large because we're going to have a lot of history states. So each thing you do in Photoshop is going to add another history state to the History Palette. Uh, here, if we look at the Layers palette, you can see this is a background layer, and that means, of course, there's no transparency on it. This is not something we need to worry about right now, but uh, again, I'm going to start by going in and cropping the image. The uh, key command to bring up the crop tool is C, and you can see it is over here in the tool palette. It's selected. Now, when the crop tool is selected, we have a number of options that are specific to the crop tool in the options palette up here. And the one I'm interested in right now is straighten because I want to crop and straighten at the same time. Now uh, here, you can see we have a, a set of, a set of handles there that we can use. Since I clicked on straighten, I'm going to uh, go in it gives, allows me to draw a line and it will straighten the image based on that line. You do that once more. I want to straighten it. Click on straighten in the options palette when the crop tool is selected. Uh, you can zoom in and uh, you can use the zoom tool here on the tool palette or you can use the key command which is command equal sign. That allows you to zoom in and really get an idea of what's in the screen. I'm going to use the space bar to temporarily bring up the hand tool. I might have zoomed in a little bit too much, so I'm going to use command negative to zoom out again. This allows me to see the line that I want to use as my horizontal line here. Uh, you can see there's a little number that shows up, so you can see it's at 0.4 degrees, so that is the amount it will straighten it by. Command zero will resize my image to fit the screen. And then I can just go in and drag these edges over. Now here you'll notice the corners are rounded and that's because they're rounded in the slide. So here this is where you can make a judgment call. Uh, you can either go in and fix that afterwards or you can just crop a little off the image now. Uh, I think in some cases it's better to just crop the image a little bit. And you have to remember, people are only going to see the uh, finished image, not the one you started with. So if it's not crucial information, you don't necessarily need to keep that tiny little edge of pixels. 
Okay, so I've got my crop outline set. I'm going to hit the return key or I could click over here on the crop tool again. Either will work. And here I can see I still have some black edges here. Uh, these ones, again, uh, it's not in a crucial area. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of crop the image a slight bit. Now here, I don't know if you can tell, but my uh, edge of my crop tool wants to snap. And that makes it difficult to go in and do fine adjustments. So I'm going to go under view snap and turn snap off. And now it's much easier to go in and make kind of a very minute adjustment here. And that looks a little bit better. Still have some black on the sides maybe. So sometimes cropping can actually take a lot longer than, than it should. It should be a one-stop process, but here I've had to go in and kind of fine tune it a little bit. Okay, so now I feel pretty happy with my cropped owl. And over here, I just wanna point out in the history palette, you can get back to the various states that you've gone through so far by going into the history palette. 